Welcome to another Linden Elevator YouTube help video for elevator mechanics. Today's video segment will be on the Maxton UC4, 4M, and 4MR. The 4MR is slightly different. We'll discuss that a little bit later on. This segment is to deal with leak down issues. On the UC4s and 4Ms, the leak down primarily takes place in one of two locations. The easiest one to troubleshoot up front is the solenoid tubes on the downside. On this model, it's a UC4. They'll be on the right hand side. On a 4M, they would be the left two solenoids. What you want to do is to identify the DA adjuster. It'll be the third one in from the side, and this time it's on the right. On a 4M, it'll be the third one in from the left. If you have a leak down scenario where you're leaking down every two to 25 seconds or even five minutes, and you turn in the DA adjuster all the way clockwise to stop and the problem goes away, the problem will be in one of these two solenoid tubes. The test is not specific as to which tube it is, so we'll want to examine both tubes. The first thing that we and what we have done here is we only have the control block for ease of videoing right now, and these tubes have been loosened for ease of looking at them here in the studio. The solenoid tube assembly should come out in a separate, easy fashion. The solenoid tube ball cage assembly should be in the top of the valve when you take the top off. It should stay in place. This component consists of a small spring on top, the ball cage assembly, and then a ball bearing that floats in this assembly with a snap ring. Underneath there is a seat with the Maxton valves from Maxton you'll find that they have a white Teflon or, uh, or um, nylon seat. Linden Elevator uses a brass seat. Both seats work equally well and most of the time if this is the scenario you have they just need to be cleaned. Any debris that would cause this to hang up and move or be stuck, uh, to move slowly or be stuck, creates a problem. One of the other issues that you run into is there is a small degree of magnetic material that oftentimes builds up inside. This is a ball cage assembly that we've removed the snap ring and ball cage on and inside here you actually get a buildup of debris of magnetic material which oftentimes just sheds and goes back in and keeps recontaminating the hole. So you'll always want to make sure that you either spray a good amount of contact cleaner around the ball bearing and hose out behind there or actually remove the ball bearing and its snap ring and manually clean in that pocket. Manual lowering is also a potential source for leak down. If you tighten this up a little bit and the problem goes away, you probably have something in the manual lowering, open it up, allow it to flush out, and then reseal the manual lowering. The most likely place, however, for a leak down scenario is on this sealing surface right here. This is the check piston, down piston seal, and it is right at the bottom, if you'll notice, of this teardrop shaped hole. Any materials that are in the oil that are debris will hit this screen, oftentimes get stopped, and then when the piston closes, it forces that material onto the seat. Any kind of a nick or a um, damage to the seat will cause the car to want to relevel. I will point out, this is not an easy fix. If you take this piston out, it is the down main piston, you'll see there is a roll pin assembly right here with a ball bearing and a spring. There is a matching seat, I mean um, pin, inside the Maxton valve that's attached to the FS adjuster. And it actually goes through and goes between the roll pin and the ball bearing. This must be reinstalled, reinstalled when you put the piston back in. It is not easy. You should be prepared for a fair amount of time to get this back in. You can call into an elevator for additional help if you take this piston out and you can't get it put back in. While we're discussing the Maxton valves, we'd also like to point out the two filter screens. This is the filter screen for the up. It's called the transfer tube and it's located here in the back between the two solenoid tubes. You can see it's quite long, it goes all the way through to the bottom of the valve where your pump flange is. If you have to remove the valve's pump flange, be very careful that you do not damage this filter screen. 
The down filter screen is over by manual lowering in a hole right off to the side here and it is much shorter and it's com uh, completely contained within the valve. This concludes our section on the Maxton UC4-4M valves uh, for leak down problems. Thank you.